Yeah, you guys, what's up? It's Julie. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Julie. You should definitely subscribe. And if you're coming back, then thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. So today I'm going to be doing a video where I'm answering your questions about the college application process. And before I even begin today's video, I do just want to say I'm still not in my regular background. And that's because honestly, it is 9.59. It's almost 10 o'clock. Um, it's a night time. I didn't want to be in the basement by myself alone at 10 o'clock at night right now. I don't know. I just didn't feel like it. So I decided to film on my porch again. And um, yeah, if you guys hear any cars in the background, the windows like right here and also the fan is on so that might make a little bit noise so i just want to apologize about that in advance but before i begin today's video i do just want to say that i am currently doing a giveaway to thank you guys for 100 subscribers so i'm giving away two really cool products um the giveaway is going on until august 14th so i'll leave the link in the description box down below if you guys want to enter and watch the video and it'll also be somewhere around the screen for you guys to just click on it i definitely recommend going to watch it um you guys can win free stuff which is always awesome and i really want to give back to you guys and thank you for supporting me and i thought a giveaway was a really good way to do it anyways enough rambling on without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the video So if you guys are wondering why you should even be asking me questions about the college application process, it's because I just went through it. If you're new here, my name is Julie. I'm going to be going to Hofstra University in the fall. I'm starting off as a freshman in a few weeks, actually, which is pretty insane. I just went through the college application process like not too long ago, literally a few months ago. So I definitely have some advice that I want to give and I want to be able to help you guys and share some information with you. So I asked you guys to ask me on Instagram some questions that you have, and you all did. Definitely follow my Instagram, at Julia0204, so that you're able to be part of my next video that I do like this. Sometimes I'll ask you guys questions um, to ask about me when I'm doing a Q&A. Maybe sometimes I'll do story time, stuff like that. Definitely follow my Instagram, check out my stories to see if I'm doing anything where you can maybe be part of a video. So the first question is, how do I stay organized slash on top of things? Organization is the worst struggle. So I'm assuming you're talking about like organization in the college application process. So for me, um, the most important thing that I did was I looked at each of the dates that I had to apply to each college by. So for Hofstra, I applied early action and it was the first college that I even applied to. Their early action one is on November 15th. So I had to make sure I had all my like ducks in line by November, like before November 15th and I made sure I took my SAT before that date even though I retook again in January to apply to Columbia and NYU but that's a totally different story. Um, I made sure I had everything for that date. If you guys don't know what early action is, basically you can apply to college a little bit earlier. It's non-binding. Um, it's not like early decision which is binding. So it's just an easier way to apply to college for me. I was able to know sooner if I got in or not. I'd say um, organize your time by when you have to apply to each college, so make sure you write a checklist first of stuff you have to do, like if you have to take your SAT, if you have to get your transcript by a certain date, if you have to write an essay by a certain date, and then base it on the date that you need to apply to college. I'd say just making a checklist and a planner would be your best way to go to stay organized and on top of the whole situation. It is very stressful, let me tell you. I was not organized at all. I was writing my essay for Hofstra like the night before I left for Washington DC. And literally like I had to get up at 6 a.m. the next morning. No, I think I had to be at the train station at 6 a.m. because I was going on a school trip to DC. And literally I was up till about three finishing my essay for Hofstra, so. Definitely don't do that. <laughs> the next question is, do you think waiting until after your senior year to apply to college will have a good payoff? So really that depends on when you want to go to college. So for me, I knew right after my senior year was over, I just wanted to go straight into college. I'm a person where if I take a break, I'm definitely gonna get too lazy to even wanna go back. And college is definitely something that I wanna do. So I didn't wanna take a gap year or anything like that. Obviously for other people, it's so different. Some people don't, want to go to college it's not their path some people want to take a gap year and then go that's completely up to you but for me if you're i feel like if you are going to college right after your senior year 
apply during your senior year, definitely do not apply after. A lot of spots will be taken up, some schools won't even accept applications, and it'll be a whole mess. Apply during your senior year if you do plan on going to college in the fall. Obviously, if you're not going to college, maybe you might still want to apply just in case um, you decide that you do want to go, just so that's not too late. Again, if you have one path already that you're going to go down and college is not that path, you can always apply and then just reject every single school because you know you're not going. But if you just don't want to, then you don't have to, of course. And if you're going to go to college in a different semester, a different year, wait until after your senior year if you're sure that's what you want to do. But I would recommend to for everyone to just apply to college just in case. It's, it's an option, you know what I'm saying? It's still there. If you change your mind or if something, you know what I'm saying, something happens in your life and you just decide, hey, I think I want to go to college instead, that option is always there for you. But I'm in no way, shape, or form saying that college is the right decision for everyone. Of course, everyone has their own path in life that they have to take, and a lot of people don't even need college to be successful. For me, um, I'm going to finance, so I definitely would need college. I would definitely need an education, but there are so many careers where you don't even need that, so... Um, what did you look for when applying to college? So for me, I think the most important thing was that I was still in New York. Um, my family lived in New York, my mom lives in New York, and she wasn't really looking to move at the time. And I really want to say with my mom, I don't really want to move out right now. Maybe I'll dorm, but I definitely don't want to be in a different state. So definitely um, staying in New York was really important. I needed a school that had a strong business program because obviously I'm a finance major, I need to make sure that um, the program that I'm in is of course accredited, I'm going to be able to get jobs from it. Um, it's a highly, you know what I'm saying, known school in the business world, definitely. The school is known in the business world and I needed to make sure that I was going to be able to have like network opportunities and internship opportunities and stuff like that. Um, I think all of those things were really important to me and then on the social side of things, I definitely wanted a school that was a little bit more not in the city because I grew up in New York City and basically the high school that I went to, it was one floor, we had barely any sports. I mean, we did have sports, but like barely anyone ever went to the games. So I definitely wanted a school that was more into sports and the social aspect of things. And that's how I ended up at Hofstra. That's my little story. And I went to the campus and I absolutely loved it there. Oh, that's another thing. I wanted a like campus that was more modern and more state-of-the-art. I don't know, that's just my personal preference. I really like that. Um, into modern places, modern things. So, Hofstra ended up being the best for me. The next question is, does GPA matter? Also, how do we get scholarships? So, GPA definitely matters. Um, when applying to college, I had a high GPA and a not too great, I mean, it was an okay SAT score. I was definitely above college readiness, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted to get. And I wasn't able to get into my dream school, which is Columbia University. I feel like it was because of my SAT score, because my GPA is definitely, in my opinion, like, you know, Columbia worthy. And I'm in no way, shape, or form trying to brag. This is just my honest opinion. GPA definitely matters. I think it weighs probably the same amount as SAT. Some people might say that it doesn't. Unless you're applying to a school that doesn't require SAT, then that's different, but most of the schools that I apply to did require SAT. And then for the scholarships part, I'm going to be making a whole video on scholarships pretty soon because I know a lot of you guys want to know, I did get a lot of money in scholarships. I'm going to be making a whole video on that and like talking about my GPA and my SAT score and how I got my scholarship and stuff like that. What were you most excited for? I was most excited for seeing where I got into. I definitely applied to a lot of schools that are like hard to get into. Most of those I did not actually get into. I either got waitlisted or just completely rejected from it period. But I think um, that was definitely the best part was opening the mail every day, seeing whether I got in. Even the rejections, I mean, it was good to know at least that I didn't get in, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Next one is, how did you figure out what to write for your college essay? Describe the process. So I wrote a college essay and I wrote the whole thing. It was about me transitioning from homeschool to a public school and like why I did it and stuff like that. And I had my friend read it and he literally just goes, it's so depressing. Like, how are you going to send this to a college? So I didn't. And instead I wrote about my time volunteering at the zoo because that was one of the best times of my life. I had so much fun there and I made so many amazing friends. So I honestly just wrote everything I felt about it and I kind of wrote about coming back to school and like the social aspect and stuff like that a little bit in that essay 
but that's pretty much how I came about my essay. Another question is why did you pick Hofstra? So I kind of answered this question, but I picked it because it's in New York, it's a huge campus, state-of-the-art technology, um, strong business program, there's a lot of networking and internship opportunities, and um, yeah, I could go on and on about why I picked Hofstra. I love that school so much. What are some red flags to look for? Okay, sorry. <laughs> what are some red flags to look out for when picking college? I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Um, honestly, whatever red flags there are, that's like your preference. For me, a red flag is like maybe the social aspect of the school kind of overpowering academics for me that's a red flag because i need to make sure like i'm well i'm well knowledged i don't even know if that's a word in my degree i want to make sure i know everything about it and i want to make sure that like not everything is too easy or i want there to be like a lot of difficulty on me and that's the something that i feel like hostra is going to provide for me honestly like the red flags are up to you. It's what you think a red flag is. Tips to get ready for college. Honestly, I don't even know myself. I'm still trying to get ready for college. I feel like I'm 14 still. So I think the most important thing is just being a little bit more independent than you are right now. Because even though I'm commuting and I'm not living on a campus, um, I'm definitely going to be more independent than I am right now because you're in college. Uh, teachers are not going to tell you to do your work anymore, you got to do it on your own, you got to study on your own, not that I ever even studied in high school anyway, I used to study like five minutes before the test, because if I studied the night before, I'd forget everything, so, you know, I think that's going to be hard for me to adjust to, but that's something that I'm going to have to do, so that's my tip for getting ready, be a little bit more independent. And meal plan in college. So honestly, I could do a whole video on that, but I don't even know what my meal plan is going to be because I have a Dunkin' on campus and I love, absolutely love, love, love Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm going to let you all know what happens with that whole meal plan thing. I kind of don't want to get into it right now just because I personally don't know myself. Yeah, that's the end of this video. I really hope this helped you guys. If it did, leave a comment down below and also leave questions that you might have about college or the college application process or anything that you might want to know that's college related. I wish you all the best of luck in applying to college and I wish you all the best of luck in getting into the schools that you really want to. Anyway you guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below more video ideas, share this link with your friends and subscribe to my channel. All of my social media links will be in the description box down below and I'll see you all next time. Peace! and I thought a giveaway was a really good day. Good way to 